what's going on guys it's gbp baby welcome back to another video and wow 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 what do we have here ladies gentlemen i say ladies but 99.6 percent of my viewers are men but my point being guys what one sec i'm gonna go walk to the other side of the room Hey guys, what's going on guys? It's GBP baby, welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's doing well and let's get straight into things. So, we're gonna start on the daily. <laughs> what the fuck? Listen, guys, honestly, I don't know what to tell you at this point. I don't like this. It's interesting to see that we traded up in towards our target, the buy side, after wicking down and taking out the stops as we also anticipated. So now, both of our targets for the week have been traded to. So we've had our south stops taken here. Because remember, I wanted to see these south stops get taken. And we've also had our buy side liquidity target traded to. Now, don't get me wrong. I did expect us to run up to the buy side liquidity first. But unfortunately, I was wrong. And you can see how we wicked lower. End of the world, right? Honestly, this is going to be a really short video. Um... Right. Well, we know on the weekly that we're bearish, so let's let's just let's just stick to our bias, yeah. We still have a bearish bias, so let's make sure we stick to that. So there's south side liquidity residing below there, which I'd like to think that price can still work its way down towards. And then on the daily basis, you can see how we traded up into this imbalance which I was talking about, and price seems to be respecting that accordingly. So as far as I'm concerned, moving into tomorrow, I would like to see a continuation to the downside and see us continue to push on lower since we do want to see a down close week. So we do need to take that into consideration. Um, I don't really want to see price come back up into this range ever again. Um, how long is left of the day? I'm not even sure. Uh, let's look at the upper wick of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the 50% level because if we are to remain bearish, price should be able to respect that accordingly. So let's get that delineated like so. And now we have somewhere where the, this is the highest I want to see price trade tomorrow. But generally speaking, I want to see if we can start to trade on lower and run and fill this incredible range that we've created today on the back of interest rate decisions. So let's go down to the four hour, take a close look at price. And again, absolutely disgusting delivery. Um, but I wouldn't want to be chasing price in these conditions. So although we've came down and also traded higher, there's going to be a lot of people still going long. Uh, remember, our bias is bearish. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to stick to that. Nothing yet has proved to me that we're bullish, especially the way we're not closing above these highs here, for example. So, 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 so as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy to continue to see price trade on lower. Furthermore, um, like I said, that 50% level of this wick is also 50% level of the four hour wick, which adds confluence. So moving into the new day, again, that's going to be the very highest I expect trade price to trade for me to remain bearish. Now, let me also mark out the 25% level just out of curiosity. But I do know that when we drop down to the low time frames, it's not really going to help us that much. But um, yeah, let's go down to the one hour, take a closer look. And you can see our price. Look, at we t look how we turned out that 50% level and we're just below that 25% level now. There's also an imbalance right here, and this should now act as an inversion fair value gap. So let's make this black, and ideally price doesn't even get back above here. It'll be very nice if price doesn't do that, because that will be very indicative of lower prices for the rest of the day and rest of the week, potentially. So I'll be paying very close attention to this level and this level specifically. Don't get me wrong, it can trade up there, but I'm looking at the 50% level to provide resistance. Why? Because we've delivered on the upside close on the downside and you can see we're now outside of the downside so i want to see that continued resistance found inside of that range so let's drop down to the 15 minutes see what we can find not really much going on there five minutes see what we can find not really much going on there however there is a beautiful bearish order block right there so let's get that delineated because again this might create the high of tomorrow that can give us some nice setups for a continuation lower so again very highest although this is okay i did say this is the very highest i want to see price trade now that I'm on the low time frames like this, ideally we respect this fair value gap. So I do like the look of this fair value gap between this low and this high. Let's mark that out in red. And I'll be looking to see if price can pull out of that and then um, trade on lower. But, you know, price doesn't always like to pull out a bit like some of us guys. Am I right? But nonetheless, 
if that is respected like so i'll be expecting a lot of short opportunities to then run on lower into our south side targets because remember we are bearish for the week so we should be sticking to that bias and yes we've wicked up there and done all the madness but i'm convinced that's manipulation because i was expecting that high to be made anyway do you know what i mean i wanted to see the high of the week get made here so the fact that we've traded to it now you know and i can only imagine how many people are going to be going long in this i'd like to think that you know we can pull out of that so but it all depends if we respect this range if we start trading above that i'll be suspicious and stay far 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 away but i'd like to think it can just devour all of this that's been going on today on wednesday um but the thing is from this angle it does look like a run on stops it really does look like a run on stops doesn't it you know south side came down grabbed those stops trading on higher but it's just how like flimsy we're being around here which is typical after interest rate decisions however i'm going to stick to my guns and expect us to trade on lower as soon as we get above this black box then it is likely we're long but seeing how we've came off this range like so like that and how we're just falling on lower like this and not reacting sensitively to price is making me feel like this is all a failure a suspect swing and it's going to fail and price is going to fall through it but uh, honestly guys <laughs> not the greatest so let's head on to gpp usd take a closer look and we'll start here on the daily as well honestly recently my, my laptop's been lagging i need to buy a new one i'm gonna try and get one for december so make sure you subscribe anyway interesting day went up grabbed these stops now if we're expecting if we want to see dollar fail that means we want to see pound continue to find its bullishness it's going to be really easy to just go short now as in there's gonna be so many people just going short but again i'm just going to stick to my guns with this just because like i said there's not really anything that yes we ran stops right we ran out buy stops beautifully too but my point being if we want to up close week we're going to need to trade on higher so what i'm looking for now is things that are going to help us frame that higher delivery for the week Ugh. oh my god so anyway four hour we have a inversion fair value gap right here because why delivery on the downside close on the upside so ideally we don't drop below the 50 percent level off that if we're bullish so moving into the new day i'll be looking very closely to see how we treat this level this is absolutely disgusting nothing this is not these are not conditions to be playing around in honestly if you're trading in this god bless you um you must be pretty desperate but my point is uh I would like to think that we can check on higher and it does seem a bit crazy but the only reason i'm saying that is because i have a bias and i'm simply sticking to my bias whether i'm right or wrong even if let's say i'm right this week i won't say this was a good week you know especially in conditions like these so that's one thing you gotta realize i could be bang on the monies but like that doesn't mean it was a good week that doesn't mean i necessarily knew what was happening you know i'm just sticking to my bias of wanting to see an up close week so we're looking for support of that and this will be indicative of so as soon as we drop below that here as soon as we drop below there i'll be suspicious and i'll be looking for these friday lows to be getting swept but um yeah <sighs> let's go on to euro usd my laptop's lagging I don't know if you guys can see the lag. If you can see the lag, apologies. Interesting to see how we just missed my level, which I called out. Not a problem. Ran out buy side, came down for south side. Again, look at this. So we've got consolidation here. We've got consolidation high here. And we've got consolidation low here. Both sides have been taken, right? Both sides of the market have been taken. Buy side, south side. But what's the high time frame telling us? The high time frame is telling us that we want to be bullish, which is why, again, I'm sticking to my bias and wanting to still see higher prices and see if we can start to reach up into these premium ranges up here. This is a fair value gap. We've filled that today on the back of the interest rate decisions. So it's all just a matter of whether this can hold price or not. If we drop below there, a whole nother story. But generally speaking, I'm looking for support. And if that's the case, then it should be pretty easy to 
expect a continuation to the upside. That's going to be everything for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment, smash subscribe, join the mailing list. Hopefully next week would be a lot less, um, a lot less, what's the word, traumatic. Hopefully next week will be a lot less traumatic, a lot less devastating, because this is just, at this point, it's like, bro. But yeah, man, thanks so much for watching. Join the mailing list, smash subscribe, join the Discord. Catch you in the next one. Peace.